I'm Gio Alvarado and I'm here in Mendota where officials have now said that every time you go out, you have to be wearing a mask. It's Super Tuesday and voters here in Fresno County will vote to see who is Fresno's next mayor. If you decide to take a stroll down to your local park and you are greeted to log gates, don't be surprised. The city of Fresno has shut down other parks around the city to help people not gather into large groups. They want you to please follow social distancing guidelines to help limit the spread of COVID-19. And I'm standing in front of Baderas Elementary School, which has been one of the many schools that has been closed to COVID-19. Uh, in the mornings, they distribute food to students who do not have the resources. And also they have been handing out packets for students to keep on learning, but at home. It's starting to feel like it's spring already. Looking at our national satellite, we see that we have some rain here in the southern part of the United States. Uh, parts of Texas all the way to southern uh, Carolina, we see that there is rain, uh, some moderate rain, and some thunderstorms. Looking at our western satellite, we see that all the, pre pre uh, all the rain has moved uh, towards the north of us and there is no clouds in view for our area. As long as you are doing your daily exercises and you are following social distancing guidelines, you do not have to wear your face mask. Ana Sanchez and her friends are students at Fresno Pacific University, but their situation is different. They are two out of 30 FPU students who are protected under the program called Deferred Actions for Childhood Arrivals, also known as DACA. It allowed me to um, apply for financial aid and it opened up many doors. But this program might soon come to an end. This summer, the Supreme Court will decide whether DACA is constitutional. Many recipients are concerned about their future. I'd love to stay. And other than that, I feel like hopefully it'll be okay. But not every student feels concerned. To me, DACA has been a privilege, and if it's time for me to stop having that privilege, I'm fine with it because I want there to be a more permanent solution. Jesus is confident that Congress will pass a bill that moves away from DACA towards a path that will lead to citizenship. I want something effective that people can apply, not just something that people will wait for. I just hope Congress can be active in looking at all the alternatives, not just one or two. Because so much of their contribution isn't recognized by Americans, they will continue to show that they do matter. Undocumented individuals have had um, the chance to prove themselves, and DACA recipients have also had to prove themselves to the United States that we are worthy candidates of staying here. They have no other choice but wait and see what the Supreme Court will rule. I think it makes us stronger. With this message of hope, they will continue to fight and show that they are worthy of staying. Some people like person-to-person -person classes, and some don't prefer or they can't learn through online. How do you feel about that? Yeah, so it's really hard. Like, I mean, like, you know, like the Zoom sessions, like... It's Currently right now, a good portion of the valley is in the mid-upper 60s, but the South Valley is in the low 70s. Tonight, the valley would be in the mid-40s, and in the mountains, a lot cooler. 26 is expected in Shaver Lake, 37 for Mariposa, and 32 in Oakers. Looking at our extended outlook, we have sunny conditions for the valley until Saturday. The temperatures will be in the upper 70s and 60s. By Monday, rain is likely in the forecast. It will increase by 30% on Tuesday. The temperature will be in the upper 60s. Low temperatures of 44 on Monday and 48 on Tuesday. Now that's your focus on weather. Fresno County Health Department is getting hundreds of questions from people about COVID-19. The most common question, what is the status on testing? I talked with Leticia Berber from the Public Health Department earlier today, and this is what she had to say. Health care provider. If a person is running with a fever and has a sore throat, what should that person do? Yeah, if you are running with a fever, having that sore throat, that cough, Please call your provider. Do not. Mientras González tiene una rutina para mantenerse ocupado, Rivas no tiene que preocuparse. Ella es una madre y también está embarazada, así que está limitada con su tiempo. Cuando tiene tiempo, la ayuda a su hija. Desde que estoy en casa, pasa más tiempo con ella. As you know, we are getting updates every minute and every hour, so we not, we're not really sure if we're going to have a show next week. If we're able to, we will be back next week with another edition of Fresno State Focus. Please remember to do your part in fighting the virus, wash your hands, and stay inside as much as you can. Stay safe, everybody.